Hi, student. Welcome back to our lesson for momentum. So the next example I'll be giving will be the inelastic collision. So what does it mean by inelastic collision? Okay, so inelastic collision it means that when two objects collide, then both of them will stick together and move in same speed or you can say velocity okay so example will be like this when a is moving it hit b which is stationary so a is 2 kg and then the speed is the velocity is 5 meter per second then b is 1 kg so this is before collision so after they collide a and b will stick together and they move at the same speed so the mass will stay constant so in this question how do you do okay so still the same we are using the same formula okay but there's some changes we can make it here okay because of a and b they are moving at same speed after collision so for this one we can make a slightly changing into okay so from here we can simplify Okay, so you can use this special formula for inelastic collision questions. So how do we do this question? Before, before collision will be Okay, so 10 equals to 3v so so this will be the answer for the speed of both object a and b after they have collide okay then next one we move on to the last example which is explosion so in explosion it is when a gun is shooting a bullet out from the gun okay so at first you have a mass of the gun and mass of the bullet let's say example the gun be 5 kilogram and the bullet is 0 0.05 kilogram and then at first both of them they won't have any velocity because they are not moving after that your V for your gun is the one they want to find but your bullet is moving at 200 meter per second okay so this is moving to the right and this gun will actually moving to the left because every gun when a bullet is shooting out from the gun it will recoil okay so for this question how do we do it we apply the formula m1u1 plus m2u2 equals m1b1 plus m2 v2 so m is 5 u 0 plus 0 0.050 0. okay so for the momentum before collision of explosion example or explosion questions it will always be zero because both the gun and the bullet they are not moving after that will be 
here you are finding the mass for the gun uh, velocity of the gun then this is 0 0.05 and 200 so here total will be still 0 here is V 5 then then at here 1 2 3 10 so when this is moved to this side it will be negative 10 5 V so V1 equals to negative 10 divided by 5 so it will be negative 2 meter per second okay so this will be the speed of the gun when you recoil but in your final answer do you write the negative 2 or you just write 2 meter per second the answer is negative 2 meter per second why because this is a velocity so we need to know that velocity is a vector quantity what does it mean by vector quantity it means that they have magnitude and direction so when the object is moving to the left you will have a negative value but if you move to the right it will be a positive value okay so this is all for your momentum example so drop any comment below if you have any questions thank you